All right, thank you for staying with us. It's still sports tonight. I'm told that Sonny Young is ready to talk to us. But before we go to Sonny Young and take you to Washington, um, Femi was about making his point uh, about um, um, the Super Eagles and the rankings and uh, the opportunity um, that it presents us um, with those two friendly games, Burkina yeah. Faso and Senegal, yeah. to move up Absolutely. in April. Yeah, it's good. But, but, but we have to win those games. Most definitely. That's it. It's, it's all about winning the games you know, to get the, the points. Probably. Yes, uh, to get the points. And also a very good opportunity for Koji and Roa as well you know, to test some of the new legs he's brought in. You know, I think that, that's the key part of it because we have a crucial qualifier coming you know, as well you know, after all of those games. You know, so it, it, all in all, it's just perfectly lined up you know, to ensure that we get the points at the same time, also get a team. You know that can defeat, of course, the African champions now, which we expect to. You know, going into the qualifications for Russia 2018. Mm. All right, so that's it um, for the, the rankings. Let's quickly move on now uh, to Washington. Our main man, Sonny Young, is waiting to join us on the show. And Sonny, yeah, that's the man. That's the man. Sonny uh, has a whole lot to share with us on the program tonight, from boxing to basketball to football, everything. Sonny, the floor is yours. Well, why don't we begin with boxing, uh, Toyin? Uh, I was really looking forward to that Manny Pacquiao-Amir Khan fight, uh, and now it looks like it's off. They, they announced this week that uh, uh, Bob Arum, who is Manny Pacquiao's promoter, said they had some problems with the financing. There was talk that it was going to be held in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, they were going to get some backing from uh, the Middle East, but... Uh, Right now, uh, there, there's talk that Manny Pacquiao might go back to his original Australian opponent, Jeff Horn. Uh, but that, right now, uh, we're not quite sure what Manny Pacquiao will do next. However, there is a fight that is locked down for March 18th here in the United States at Madison Square Garden in New York. I think it's going to be a good fight, Toyin. A uh, world middleweight championship fight between Gennady Triple G Golovkin and he's going to go up against an American, Danny Jacobs. Golovkin's got great power, undefeated with 36 victories, 33 knockouts. Jacobs is also a very good fighter, 32 wins, one loss, and he has 29 knockouts. Uh, I guess I'll go with Triple G in that fight, but Jacobs, I think he'll, I think he'll give Triple G a good fight. Uh, should Triple G win, I'm sure we're going to hear... Uh, talk, when is Triple G going to fight Canelo? That seems like uh, the marquee middleweight matchup. But for now, March 18th, Golovkin against Jacobs. In the NBA this week, Toyin, I think uh, probably the biggest story of the week, German star Dirk Nowitzki reaches the 30,000-point career total. Uh, he did that in a game against the Los Angeles Lakers. He needed 20 points to reach that 30,000 career point total. He scored 18 in the first quarter. Uh, Mark Cuban, the Dallas owner, came rushing out onto the court to congratulate Nowitzki along with his teammates. I think Nowitzki genu uh, gen generally regarded, uh, get that word out, generally regarded as the best European player in NBA history. He becomes the sixth player to tally 30,000 career points. The five others, I think I'll get them right, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Carl the Mailman Malone, Michael Jordan, the late, great Wilt Chamberlain, and uh, Kobe Bryant, who recently retired from the Los Angeles Lakers. Number six, Dirk Nowitzki. Hottest team in the NBA right now, Toyin? The Atla ex excuse me, the hottest team is the Miami Heat. You might say the Heat has been hot. They've won 20 out of their past 24 games. They got off to a real rocky start, a lot of losses, but now they're playing some great basketball. They're only a half game out of a playoff spot. I would say as we look at the uh, upcoming playoffs, there's roughly uh, 20 or so regular season games left for most teams. My beloved Washington Wizards, they've been playing some good <laughs> basketball too, Toyin. Uh, they won last night in Denver, and right now, uh, they're in a battle with the Boston Celtics for the number two seed in the Eastern Conference. The defending champion Cleveland Cavaliers uh, are in first place. Cavs got some bad news recently. Mm. Uh, Andrew Bogut, uh, they signed him last week. He wasn't even on the court for a minute, Toyin. I think it was all of 58 seconds 
and he broke his leg. Uh, terrible news for Bogut and the Cavaliers, who were hoping Bogut could kind of bolster, uh, you know, bolster their 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 height on the, underneath the basket ahead of the playoffs. But Bogut is out for the rest of the season. Uh, tennis note, Toyin. A uh, big tennis tournament taking place here in the USA this week. Mm. The Indian Wells Tournament. That's uh, about a two-hour drive east of Los Angeles, California, in Southern California. All the big names are there, Toyin, on the men's side. You got Murray, Djokovic, Federer, Nadal. They'll all be competing uh, for some big prize money as well as ranking points. Uh, this is not on the level of a Grand Slam tournament, but it's still one of the bigger tournaments of the year. On the women's side, they got some bad news. Serena Williams withdrew from the tournament with a left knee injury. And as a result of Serena's withdrawal, when this tournament comes to a close in Southern California, Angelique Kerber of Germany will reclaim mm. the uh, women's number one ranking. One other quick note on the women's uh, athletic side twin. We had the She Believes Soccer Cup uh, women's tournament take place uh, earlier this week here in Washington, D.C. The USA got, uh, they got beat pretty, pretty easily by France. 3-0, the French, very impressive. They won the trophy. Uh, this was the worst home loss for the American women uh, since 1993, the 1993 Women's World Cup. They lost 3-0 to Germany. So those are some of the uh, sports highlights from here in the USA, Toya. Mm. Sonny, be before I allow you to um, take your break for, for this week, um, by the time we are back with you next week, the cup elections would have been over. I'm sorry, Toy, I didn't, I didn't quite hear that last question. By the time we are back at, um, with you next week, Sonny, the calf elections would have been over. Okay, I got to give my prediction then, Toy. Yeah, I know yeah. uh, I'm on the spot. I, 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 really, I really think we need a change in African football. Uh, so I'll go, I'll go with Ahmed Ahmed to become the next president of the Confederation of African Football. You heard it here first, Toy. <laughs> I hope we won't have to serve you on board pie next week. I hope not. I hope not. But, Sonny, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the week. <laughs> thank you, Toyin. It's always a pleasure to be on Sports Tonight. Mm. All right. So that's our man, uh, Sonny Young, um, always bringing so much to the table for us. Um, guys, 